Yeah, good morning, uh, Honorable yeah, Raf. Yeah, welcome to this uh, conversation. Happy New Year. Sent to, what, sent are, to what are you expecting from the, 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 the government? Uh, we're expecting nothing less than as usual. As usual, this year again? Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a transactional government. Haven't you seen what Obi said? Obi said that they are, they are businessmen. They are on transactions. And the government is, that kind of government is not what Nigerians are expecting. People that are doing transactions, look at the budget, 28 point something trillion. How many percentage of 28 point something trillion is the salary of the government agencies? The whole money, almost the whole. We are coming out at the end of the day with no projects, no salary. They will see all salary, no infrastructure in place. All those constituencies, the whole budget, the whole uh, uh, projects, in all the constituencies in Nigeria, you can never see any visible structure. Because this 28.7 trillion, Tinubu will chair his own, Chetima and his camp, uh, Wilkes camp, all of them, the whole money will vanish. Remember the judiciary, they are going to share out of the money. My expectation is that Nigerians, the youth especially, should stop promoting people that are stealing from the public purse. They should stop celebrating thieves, political thieves, and robbers in Nigeria. The youth, instead of using music to attack Nigerian government, they are using their music, the music they spent their energy on, to promote Nigerian political class. Use music to fight them. There's a way you do it, tactically. You don't just promote thieves. Lift people, their wives. Uh, this woman now, uh, get, get back to a baby boy or girl, uh, Chetima's wife. They were writing it, they are writing it on the front page of newspaper. Man, so absurd. <laughs> Hilarious of the highest order. The wife gave birth, you are writing it on the front page of newspaper. How many people were born? How many children were born on first early hour of January 2024? Many of them that are supposed to be celebrated. Many of them that are supposed to be, you know, you know, people should be thanking God for their lives. We are talking about Chetima. Chetima, somebody that stole, he stole his way into power. He stole somebody's mandate. That Mohammed should have been in that position now. People are saying Chetima wife gave birth. Tinubu's wife carried the baby. Let me tell you, we are running a transactional government here. People that are doing transactions, business transactions. You should allow them to be in chains. You should woo them, boo them with insults. Yes. Yeah, that's you don't need to came, came to Lagos Island. You say what? Tinubu came to Lagos Island. I, la I learned that. He was not uh, welcome. welcome. Yes, yeah. he came with long motorcade. Everybody frowned at him. Because the reason why they couldn't welcome him in Lagos Island was that when he was campaigning, they stole him. So, um, generally, Tinubu knew that they don't want it. They don't want him. And actually, they fail to want him presently. Even in his regime now, he went to there, people were frowning at him. He, he was expecting heroic welcome, Abi. A hero. A hero indeed. A thief. He should expect a thief, a welcome that is meant for an umbrella. That's why none of them was paying attention to him. Those Lagos Island people, they are well educated and knowledge. Lagos Island is not Lagos mainland. Mainland area is where you see all manner of poorly educated with the packed house promoting and uh, what telling thieves someone that stole your mandate you are hailing him to Ale because of 100 naira 1000 naira a cup of gari the record of rice even 50000 naira is not enough how many days are you going to spend it hunger will come creeping again so let me tell you people in lagos island they are the real negotiators i know they will never pay attention to him and they actually turn their back frowned at tinubu okay the pope is saying that we need to pray for god's intervention in plateau state what's your thing you say what the pope said we should pray for okay, god's okay, okay. intervention I saw, it. Yeah, I, I saw it in I saw plateau it. state pope francis is being emotional and uh, being the godfather i mean political godfather of all the roman catholic the head of the vatican uh, uh the papacy uh he has to say something like that uh but uh i have this to tell him when hamas the terrorist Pope francis this question is for you in vatican rome when hamas attacked israel on october 7th what happened in younger they sleep trouble go wake him up hamas attacked israel almost two to three months ago you know what is going on in 
Palestinian, Hamas. The people of the Lord, they just woke up and went to Jacob and wake sleeping dog. A sleeping dog that is sleeping, JJ. Hamas, go wake it up. Do you know what happened? Woo! A back and back and back and bite Hamas, remove the tails, the whole body, and they are scavenging on Hamas' body now, as I'm talking to you. Israel concentrated bombardments on Hamas fortress, dominated region of Gaza, West Bank, everywhere around Mediterranean Sea is on course, as I'm talking to, now, to you. Now, Israel doesn't sleep. They are doing shifting. They don't sleep now. So just, Israeli soldiers know they sleep. This was where they work this morning, early morning now. Around that kind too, they should go and rest. Another stage will take over. And they have extra, what? 300,000 men, soldiers, well prepared. Reserve. Reservists. Reservists. 300,000 reservists. See, you, Pope is telling you, pray so that God will do what? Pope Francis want the whole Christians in Middle Bay to die. God has his soldiers. We Christians are his soldiers. Yes. All world Christian soldiers marching as to war. Yes. With the cross of Jesus Christ. Live a life that Christ wants. If something happens, take action because God has given you dynamism to act. Don't expect the dove. Those that were a form of Holy Spirit sometimes. Uh, 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 angel. To come down. To come down and fight for you. Do you know what? Pope Francis is part of the white imperialists that expect Africa to die. Pope is a white, white skin now. So if something happened in Vatican now, Roman soldiers, Italian soldiers will wait. All the cardinals, all those popes, and reverend fathers in the Vatican City, they will keep on praying so that God will come and do it. They will be in the mood of prayer. Are you listening to me? Then soldiers, Italian soldiers, they will swing into action. Pope Francis, Francis is not telling us the truth. I'm telling you, he's among the Westerners that colonized Africa and still change their faces, change their colors, convert them into black political pigs. Political idiots that are what? You know, ravaging the African continent, stealing their phone in the name of what? They are black men, while their own ideology Ideologies are white men ideology. So Pope Francis is among them. Should the people of God bear arms? Of people, people of God should bear arms. People of God, Abi? Yeah, God. Yes, Christians. Christians is supposed to bear arms. Ask me why. What I'm suggesting is that you control it. You make it a structural, officially structural, arm bearing. Let those people that bear arms either belong to the state or to the churches. If they belong to the churches, Government should be ahead. Listen and listen good. You have state police. State police is owned by the state police. They mostly, they should be Christians. They must be Christians because the killings across mid belt are Christians are the major targets. Christian targets, church targets. They are the targets. So what happens is that they should be paid by the states, but mostly Christians because if you're fighting Muslims, you can still not mix your militants or militia with Muslims. So they should be all Christians. I think understand paid by the church and the state. That is when we can get it right in the middle bed because the killings has gone beyond, you know, let me say, should I say ethnic line? Because we find out that those people are Muslims. Those attackers, they're always Muslims. When they speak, all of them is Fulani. They are Fulanis from the Sahel country. So the major thing is that government should not be telling us that uh, we shouldn't allow arms to get into the hands of the civilians, this, this, and that. They are aligning with Flane Janjaways to make sure that they eliminate the whole Christians in the mid-belt. And again, Christian, let me tell you, it is Islamization that is going on practically, systematically. They are trying to Islamize Nigeria. Government has hand in it. The West has hand in it. Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, they have hands in it. Fulani is the head. Are you listening to me? So, Islamization process is on course. Churches in Nigeria should not fold their hands and keep on telling God to come. During the time of King David of Israel, King David was a God, a man after God's heart. One on one with God. 
He used his sword. He fought for his Israel kingdom. He fought for his subjects. I didn't understand. Are these churches, pastors, bishop, telling me that they are more than David, the author of Psalm? It was David that wrote the Psalm from A to Z. Are you listening to me? So, God, okay, let me tell you. Go into action. God will be with you. That's one thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. My, my brother, prayer without work or action cannot work. Look at Israel here. How many, how many people they keep for Israel? There is over two months plus. Israel is continue busy to bombing Gaza. Because of what they want to wipe that terrorist group. Do you know what you call terrorists? Any state or any country that have terrorists, that country cannot have breathing space. You are saying praying. No, my brother. I ask to ask. Gun to gun. Machet to machet. Israel said that I will say that there is a time of time of joy, rejoice, and time of to fight, and time of marriage. Now, Israel is a time of what? War. In that side, now is time is not time of praying, it's time of war. Are you saying that they should carry guns? Yes. Yes. In Nigeria, you cannot list a good story. What you hear that they kidnap social thousands of people, they kidnap social people, they kill many people for Nigeria government. My brother, let's forget that prayer. Let's carry action. Carry gun. Carry gun. If they kill two, kill twenty. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Yeah. That's what need. Then how would the federal government make this happen? Federal government. Who be federal government? The main terrorists we have in this country is a federal government. The first terrorists we have in this country is federal. Let's forget whether the federal say or they don't say anything. It is not this like also we did the massacre. How many boys in Lake Togate? Federal no day. Shetima, what is Shetima be? Shetima will not be the leader of Boko Haram. What are you talking about? Will be Fedra. <laughs> Governor of Fimo State, because of them, maybe be terrorists. <laughs> what are we talking about? They call Fedra, Fedra. What you concern about Fedra? As they do Christmas and New Year, the Fedra government, you know me and you, we survive by our struggle and by God's grace. We will not say go Fedra government. Let go Fedra government go to hell. As far as I concerned, well, let's talk about the computer village uh, demolition. What's your take on that? Um, that is what is going the sign of Igbo man to leave Lagos. You know that when they tell you, say, when you see small picking, you know what small picking to stand with you. What you do that you will just call in them. Hey. Chibike, move. Chibike, no, here. Yeah. You go see Kara again. Chibike, Chibike, move. If you Chibike, no, move. You go just carry smoke, penkere, can. This is Chibike for leg. You go do it in. Go cry. In Nigeria, their body language, they don't tell you about how to go. Body language, they don't tell us to go. That computer village is seen. The Lagosians or the man they control Lagos. They always they all, the man have tried that several times to collect from computer village. Before you go to a president, so he tried to collect from computer village. But it don't work. And then I have the opportunity. Now, he was in Nigeria, is that small in Mecca? I know the year word. No, 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 use pankere. They beat us. Small, small. Yeah, that damn there. 
Yeah. One of my friends have shop there. Yeah. I have the video here. Yeah. I video everything. I must say, see my hand that day as I help the guy in job. Is it? Hmm. He go help you. We need to go back our home. Let's go and support our leader. Nothing pass home. My brother, if I come to your house, you have power more than me. If you leave your place, come my home. I get power. You can never come my papa has come beat me. Lie, lie. Even if you get step past me, with the beat, I go get something. If you buy it, I go bite you. Make sure say something to move for your body before you go wrong or not. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank God you. God.